Conditional table mapping with the SharePoint connector. Hey, I'm Eric, and in this video, we're going to look at how to use what is known as conditional table mapping or alternative table mapping with the SharePoint connector. The use case is that sometimes we have one table that holds information that we might not want to end up in the same place on SharePoint. Um, and the example that I'm going to use here is the sales header. So if you if you know a bit on on the technical sides of, of business center, you you'll know that when we have sales and we have a sales quote, we have a sales order, we have sales invoice, and we have sales credit memos, those self self returns orders also, but and blanket, there's so many of them. Uh, but they actually all reside in the same table. Uh, inside Business Central, but we might not want them to end up in the same spot on SharePoint. And for that, SharePoint Connector has alternative mapping or conditional mapping. So if I go into the, the SharePoint table mapping, um, and and here I have mostly the, the, the out of the box standard mapping that comes if you just accept the the, the default mapping. Uh, we can see that sales header here, there's already a check mark in uh, alternative mapping exists. Um, and we can see that normally we will figure out the folder from the, 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 the number field. So the folder will be the number field and we'll put it into the customer under the customer. Um, but if we go to alternative folders here, we can see that there are two conditions that might put it somewhere else. In this case, if the document type is order, then we're actually gonna put the, the document into a folder called order. If the document type is quote, then we're gonna put it into quote. Um, and we could also overwrite that we suddenly need a different caption field or we did need a different parent table or uh, stuff like that. So, so in here, all the other fields, if they have a value, then they will override the selection made here. So if I go to, if I go to sales orders and I already have a sales order, so that is great. And we got a SharePoint box, and I'll grab my little stash of cute animals. And I think it's time to use the big ears. We'll put this on this sales order. Let's go to SharePoint and see where it ended up. It ended up in the order document. So if I now go and post this one and let's actually before I do that go into table mapping just quickly and see that the sales invoice header so the posted invoice also have alternative mappings and in this case it uses the same principle that if order number field is different from blank then the folder should be order and we should use the order number field as caption for it. So if I go and I press F9 to post and ship this guy, we get it posted. I like to open the posted invoice and we have the big ears because now this one is also conditionally pointing to the same folder. And as a bonus, I think is if I hit a five here in, in a second or two, we could get the PDF of the posted invoice. You know, it might not, that happens in the background. So uh, let's see if that, there it is. So now we also have the PDF of the posted invoice. But this is, let's go to SharePoint and see, this is still the order. So if we were to go back and do a quote, on the same customer, it will get into a quote folder. And right now, if we did any of the other documents, it will just go into a sales folder. Um, so that is 
conditional table mapping uh, in the in the SharePoint connector. A great way to uh, to make sure that everything gets into the right spot, even though it might be in the same spot in the BC database. Let us know if there's anything that we can help you with uh, regarding mapping and uh, check out the other videos on uh, on the SharePoint connector or get in touch if you want to talk with us uh, about this app. Bye.